Hey everybody, I've got to do a little work on the tractor here. My fuel gauge quit working back in the summer. Let's see, but this here's this here's the sending unit to the uh, gauge inside the tractor. And I was in here the other day, and I found my problem. The problem is this little float ball. Now I've put some uh, gas tank repair stuff on it, and I've got to let it dry. But I've got another little thing I'm going to try to use in the meantime. If this doesn't uh, seal, it just has a couple little pinholes in here where that little uh, rod snaps around it, and I'll show you that here in a minute. Now this here just just twists and pops loose and then this comes out and then this little little rod here can be a little tricky getting out and it's got a little o-ring I need to change Go get a rag. Try not to get any of that trash in there. I took an air hose and blew off all that I could. Now, uh, John Deere doesn't sell that little float separately. You have to buy this whole assembly, and it's $97. You know, there's nothing wrong with the rest of this. Everything works. Uh, I verified that uh, when I had it out last time. I could move the rod and the gauge would would react, you know, uh, with the movement. But I've got a got a funny way I'm gonna work on this. Now I have uh, several options that uh, I was going to try. Now the, the original float has a has a little lip around it for that little rod to snap around. Well, uh, one of my solutions was a uh, was a ping pong ball. I was going to make a little wire cage out of some uh, copper wire and tie it to that rod. What I've done is I've got some number 10 stranded wire. I'm going to make a little basket for that ping pong ball. I've uh, soldered the ends on this so Wouldn't come undone. Hopefully this won't uh, be too heavy. So this is uh, just something I'm trying. It may not work. But I don't like driving around without a fuel gauge in that tractor. And I don't want to spend $97. for the complete sending unit. Several things I need to be doing today and one of them is probably doing a, uh, a mite treatment on my beehives as warm as it is. I know they're uh, yesterday they was out uh, doing cleansing flights and things like that. And today's supposed to be uh, a little warmer. And I probably won't need all of these wires to, uh, to hold that. And I'm all thumbs today. Uh, I was going to soak that ping pong ball in some diesel and, and see if it reacted. 
to the diesel. But, but all I'm going to do is uh, set that ball down in here and make a little cage here for it. And I'll use some of these other wires to, uh, to wire it to the cage. Just all thumbs today. I don't want to twist these too tight because they'll probably just snap off. I wish they had a chair out here. I know some of y'all are thinking, well, that's sure a bad way to fix that. And it may be. But I just want to want to get these uh, wires around here to where it will uh, hold that ball so it won't slide out and uh, go floating off into the tank. Getting it out of there may, may uh, be a challenge if it ever comes loose. It may be too much wire on that. It may put too much weight on it. Anyway, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll see what it does. Get this in here. Alright, let's, uh, let's take a look at this gauge inside here. Showing the quarter tank there. We'll give it a, a go, see how it uh, holds up. Put some diesel in here, see if that thing works. Well, folks, there we go. If it'll just hold up, I've got to put this battery cover back on this tractor. <laughs> 